out of my journey. Look what I found. And I've got my new Vengeance pickaxe. Look at that. Five diamonds from one block. I love this Vengeance pickaxe with its Fortune 10 on it. Awesome. And some Essence Berries. And a creeper that's going to die. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. 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 What? Okay. Oh, shoot. And I'm going to blow up again. And kaboom. Oh, look at all that crazy. Oh, oh again? Again? Um... going on guys <clears throat> it's slider havoc here and i thought i'd start this episode a little earlier than i had originally planned and this might be more of a piece together episode we will see how that works out but uh the reason for me starting right now is as you can see my inventory is like really really full and it's because i was out mining why can't i put you down okay we'll put you there um i was out doing some mining uh basically collecting stuff <clears throat> getting some materials and whatnot and my inventory started looking like this which is really annoying like it fills up all the time so of course i do a little search for like storage and stuff like that and i came across something that i was quite impressed by and so we're just going to take a look at it um what was it called um oh ecto yes so we've got this ectoplasm here and there's a couple things we can do with it. I believe we can make some armor out of it, which I'm not overly curious about right now. But we can also... Oh, ecto. Ectoplasm. Ect oh, ectoplasm, if I could spell correctly. There we go. There's a th couple things we can use for it. Uh, we can make some of this erythial glass, or spectral glass, sorry, which I've actually made before um, in uh, Tragic Magic. But then you've got the spirit binder, which I'm not really sure about. And then you can make the spectral iron, which it get kind of expensive, but I can try to get my hands on some of it. Um, some filled ginto. I'm not even sure what that's all about. Okay. But there was something really cool, and I'm going to find it. There's a key. There's a key. Where's the key? Hold on. I know I saw this somewhere. Is that it? No. So key, is that it? Spectral key, there it is. Which, oh, it's one of the ingots and a stick, right? So, iron. Of course I don't have any iron. Of course. Why would, why would I actually have iron? But let me grab a stick real quick. And actually, I am going to grab some wood as well. One, two, three, four. Just, well, let's get more than that. One, two, three. We're gonna make a couple chests, and we have basically found ourselves a new storage area. Long story short, we have a new storage area, and we're about to go bust it out right now. I don't have any of my building equipment or my anything on me right now, so. All right, so we're gonna make a couple chests here. Five, ooh, I hate having an odd number, but what are you gonna do? All right, put you in there, and that should send you right back in the system, right? Yeah. All right. And we're going to go get ourselves an iron ingot, which I should have plenty of, in our blacksmithy. Let's see. Iron, 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 iron. All right. Um, what do I need? I don't need you right now. There we go. And if we take an iron. Oh, I forgot to grab a stick. Oh. I just forget random things sometimes. Um, what don't I need? I don't need salt. Okay. So we're going to go back and grab a stick, but I got my ironing it. Because we're going to make this key, and this is going to take us to a whole nother world of mining. And I'm kind of excited about it. So let me grab a stick. I don't have any sticks, really. 
How do I not have any sticks? Let me put some of this cobble away real quick. I don't even know if I have enough space for any of that right now. I am running out of storage space like quickly. Okay, there we go. So if I take this with the ecto, I get a spectral iron ingot. And then I put that and I get this key. All right, this is where this thing is supposed to come in really, really cool. So apparently you hold this key, you get a particle effect, yes. And then bingo, bingo, whammo, we're in another dimension. This is awesome. Look at this. Look how cool this dimension is. It's just a whole lot of nothing. It's so freaking sweet. So anyways, the reason that this is really, really beneficial is I'm going to throw a couple of these chests down real quick. And we'll just do this and one more right there. All right. So I can clear out my inventory really quickly. And, ha oh, diamonds. Finally found some diamonds. I'm going to dump all this stuff. Um, think I need the rest of it? Yes. All right. And then I can just go back. Right? And bingo, bingo. Right where I left the overworld. Right here. Just chilling. Right? Freaking awesome. So... <clears throat> apparently um, it didn't like the other dimension oh <laughs> quickly right clicking sent me back so anyways I just want to show you guys that now I'm gonna head back to mining and uh, fill up all those chests with all the goodies because we've got some fun stuff in store for our next episode so we will be back I get back to mining I break through this wall like literally I had one block left I didn't even realize the walls right there and look what I found I found more demons I've been having the hardest time on the server finding diamonds, so this excites me greatly. Um, now I just gotta find a safe path over there. Like, literally, that's all the cobblestone I picked up since I uh, paused. Right? But check it out. Once again, I'm gonna bust out this bad boy, my vengeance pickaxe, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put some cobble under here so I can stand. Come on. Oh, look at all this. Look at all this. Let me cut off the water real quick, too. There we go. Hey. Right. Oh, man, there's like a flow right there, too. Okay, this is just annoying. Oh, my gosh, and there's a flow right there, too. Okay, there we go. So we've got this vengeance pickaxe with fortune 10 on it. Look how many, ooh! But you do take the chance of getting attacked by the vengeful ghost thing. But look at that, 26 diamonds, dudes. Dudes and dudettes. I've never got that many diamonds in such a short period of time. This thing is freaking awesome, and I can always fix it in my uh, evil craft bench, which is awesome. So anyways, I'm gonna get back to mining because now I have a lot of diamonds, and that makes me so so happy we'll be back okay seriously four seconds later like literally i was just here talking to you and now i'm right here and more diamonds more diamonds more diamonds oh look at all this look at all the pretty diamonds oh this is so awesome i never have luck like this at first i got really excited because i thought this was emerald but it's just uranium ore from artifice but look at this I'm up to 56 diamonds. This is so amazing. Okay, gotta go. We'll be back. All right, guess what, guys? So this whole episode just totally changed. Let me explain why. So literally, I'm probably about another five blocks further than I just was. And look what I found more of. Awesome, right? I've never seen this many diamonds in one spot. Like, literally, I was I saw this uranium, and I was like, huh. And then, oh, bam. Okay, so I was looking up, like, hey, what's uranium good for, right? And I'm like, oh, I can make a uranium ingot. And then, basically... That was like it. Like, it doesn't do anything, right? So I was like, well, what does a block do? And I can make this nuclear battery. But then that's kind of like it. And I was like, okay, cool. No no problem, right? Uranium's kind of weird. But then I was like, ooh, what is this lapis celestialis blah, 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 or a kind of blah, 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 orange thing, right? So then I click on it, right? And it's made with this unstable ingot thing. I was like, well, this ingot looks really, really cool. What is it, right? And then look at this. I can make a portal to the deep dark. Don't even know what it is, but we're doing it, right? So I'm going to have to make four of these unstable ingots, 
and five of these quadruple compressed cobblestone. So basically, I'm going to need a lot of cobblestone. Not a problem. I'm going to go mine that up in the meantime. But this is what we're doing today. We are going to get this portal to the deep dark. I hope it's an actual portal, and I hope I'm not wasting my time. But if I am, I think it'll be worth it because we are going to make one of these unstable ingots. And it's just an iron ingot, this division cell activated, and a diamond. And I've got one of these division sigils. I don't know how to activate it, but it's got 256 uses. So cool, whatever. We're going to go make this stuff, and I'm going to get these diamonds. Well, we're going to do these together. Let's see how much more diamond we get. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. It's like so many demons. So many demons. So I'm going to finish uh, getting up this uranium and stuff like that. I'm going to head back to the house, and then we're going to go try these unstable ingot things out. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, so we are back. And I'm coming up here because I'm getting ready to grab some titanium because I want to make some armor before we go to this awesome new dimension. I have, I know nothing about it. I thought, you know, maybe I should do some research on the dimension or whatever. But then I was like, you know what? Honestly, where's the fun in that? Let's just go like go there and find out what it's all about. And so I, uh, I figured maybe we should at least protect ourselves. I think that's a pretty legit thought, right? We, sh we should at least protect ourselves a little bit. So what I'm doing now is I... We have to make, um, I'm, I'm making some titanium armor. Because, I mean, if we're going to rock the matter overdrive, we better just rock the matter overdrive, right? So, I know I'm going to need a couple of these, uh, what are they called? Oh, man. I forget. Do redstone blocks break down or do I got to go get more redstone? I think I got some in the chest from where I was just, well, I know I have some in the chest from where I was mining and stuff. Okay, cool. They break down. Cool. And then iron. I'm going to need three iron ingots. Because we got to make some of the Mark II, um, uh, whatever those things called, the Mark II circuits, to make this armor, which I think is totally cheap to do, to make some what I think is actually some pretty seriously bad Mamma Jamma armor. Uh, I think it's like that. Yes. So three of those. Cool. Oh, I need some gold. Do I have gold in here? I do have gold. One, two, three. Because we have to go to the inscriber and get that done. And let me tell you guys, I've done some grindy stuff before, you know, trying to get as many, you know, uh, you know, diamonds or, you know, you know, whatever. I have never done a grind for cobblestone like that in my life. Uh, it took absolutely forever. I have literally been grinding almost three hours since the last clip. And yeah, I got a lot more diamonds, stuff like that. But l let's be honest, we don't want to keep having me pop. I'm going, look, diamonds. Yay so i stopped doing all that but uh yeah it was a very very grindy process very grindy but it's okay because now we are gonna have some awesome armor and we've got a new dimension to go to and i am so excited about that look at that 64 perfect oh yeah i had 32 of those that was freaking awesome um okay you go you go so we're gonna have this new titanium armor which I know through testing, uh, when we were testing our Flans PvP map, uh, myself and Mr. Saint, we were trying different armors to match up with some of like, the, the powerful weapons of Flans mod, like the sniper rifle and stuff like that. And we found out that uh, you really can't mess... Why is it just going down? How much does this use? I don't know. But I thought that I should be putting out more power than that. I wonder if I have a break in my power line? Should be charging. Now that's at full charged. I was making diamonds earlier, but I don't need to now because I think I ended up with like three stacks of them. Okay, you're charging back up. Okay, cool. I just need better power lines. Not a problem. All right, so I've got that. And then the unstable ingot. We got to make that guy, those guys. I know I have enough cobblestone. Oh, this is going to be awesome. And hopefully it'll be a little bit of a shorter episode because I know sometimes these episodes can get long. And I try. I promise you. I really do try to, to keep them short. But um, when I get excited... And that how? Hold on. Um, Tritanium armor. Where are you at? There you are. Okay, so that's easy. Okay. Oh, it's just replacing that one part spot. Okay. I was trying to give it more than needed. All right, so the Tritanium chest plate. Tritanium helmet. I'm going to guess the legs just go like that then. Yeah. And then I know the boots don't need one, so cool. All right, so we've got our titanium armor. Let's check this stuff out. That's like some awesome, awesome armor. Oh, look at his, like, hold on. Check this guy out. Like, oh, that's, 
kind of cool. Got the little mask on it. It's got like face and shoulders. Of course, my robot self still doesn't really show. So that kind of is saddening. But awesome. Awesome titanium armor. Okay, cool. Now we've got to make these unstable ingots. Unstable. There they are. We've got unstable ingot and Mobius stable stable ingot. Interesting. All right. So how do we make this guy? This guy is iron, a diamond, and this division sigil. And our, I, I think I have the division sigil. But how many I'm gonna I'm gonna need what four of them? So I gotta go get some more iron real quick. And I'm pretty sure I got a division sigil in my inventory. I remember picking that up in like a chest somewhere. Actually, I think I've had more than one, but I just throw them away after I keep getting repeats of stuff I don't know anything about. But now I know it has a purpose. <clears throat> That is awesome. All right. And that means I'm going to need four diamonds. Uh, division sigil. Yeah, there we go. Wait, hold on. Inactive. You must perform activation rituals. Sneak right click on enchanting table for more details. Interesting. Okay, so I got to activate this thing. Um, and of course, I don't have any diamonds because they are all. You know what? I think I can. I think I can pulverize this guy. I'll probably never use it, so. I got that in a chest in the nether one time. Let's see if this is going to give me any diamonds. If not, we can just run back over to our awesome new storage area in the spectral dimension and go get some diamonds. I know I have at least two stacks of those. Uh, do you pulverize? You don't pulverize. Oh, well. Where's a shot? And here we go. So guys, this is like the grindiest thing I've ever done on Minecraft. Look at this. All cobblestone. Actually, I don't I think I stopped at a certain point when I realized I had too many. Um, when I started doing the math. Yeah, I like stopped at a certain point. But all that, all cobblestone. And I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, four of these ingots. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna need another one for an enchanting table. Because apparently I have to go make an enchanting table. Alright, so back, back, back. I wonder what would happen if I made another portal here. I, I don't know why that just popped in my head, but it did. So, where are we going to put our enchanting table? Like, what would be a proper place to put an enchanting table? Oh, is this going to take me back to the spec? I, I've had this happen a couple times. I just need to take this key out of my hand sometimes. Because I keep popping back into this dimension, and it's... I don't know why. I really don't. I don't think I'm doing anything that would deserve a shot back there, but whatever. It's like every time I sprint or something like that, all of a sudden it's like, pew, back to the spectral dimension. Which is okay. That thing is awesome. That is like the easiest way to be grindy miny it all the way. Okay, Obsidian, I'm going to one, two, three, four. I've got... Oh, I need two... Why can't I do math? I needed two diamonds. Um, I need a book, which I've got a couple of. And I'm going to need one more diamond. Well, you know what? I'm just going to craft this guy up. Oh, where's my crafting little tablet thing? Oh, is it in one of these chests? Yeah, there it is. Oh, with the freaking force field controller. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to explain this uh, a little bit later. I got a lot of pets. Yes. In the next episode, I will explain that. Uh, kind of did stuff out of order, but it's okay. Um, here we go. So, do do do. And then you. And you. All right, let's find out about this. Um, I enchant in my living room. Don't you enchant in your living room? I enchant in my living room. All right, so sneak and right click. Um, activation ritual. Altar does not have a redstone circle. Altar cannot see the moon. Uh, area lacks insufficient natural earth. What? Altar must be lit by outside source. Too early. Sacrifice must be made at midnight. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and pause here and really read into that to activate this thing. But I'm excited. Um, there's lots of natural earth stuff out here. So let's... We're going to put this guy right here. And then... Okay. Let's see. Does this still say all the stuff? Okay. Um, altar does not have a redstone circle. Okay, I'm going to look into this, and then uh, we will be right back.
I've got this cool little Dawn Sword from uh, More Swords from that little Zombert. And then I've got a Diamond Sword just in case, but I did bring two with me. I brought a, uh, a zombie with me as well as one of my sheep. I don't want to have to kill the sheep, but, you know, sometimes it has to happen. Okay, so it's lit up. So this has got to be the time to do it. So bam. Okay, so we're going to put you down. And then we're going to... There we go. Oh, that did something. That did something. Oh, man. It turned all my earth into, like, purple cursed earth. Oh, wow. All right. Ugh. No holes. No holes. Ooh. I wonder if I can save some of that cursed earth. Because I could use that to spawn mobs for my blood altar. Because I don't think I have anything with silk touch on it. I think I lost all that stuff. All right, but uh, did it uh, did it work? Because if I can just run inside, if it worked, did it work? Oh, it says activated now. Uh, what about it, my present? Here we go. Activated. Two hundred fifty-six uses. Okay, we should be good. All right. So, oh, I'm so excited right now. I'm like fidgety, 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 fidgety. But we're gonna go and go back over to here because I need to make. Uh, well, I need to get a diamond. And uh, do I have any wood in here? Because making a crafting table here would be really useful. All right, so now I can make these. If I remember correctly, it's just you in the middle, right? You here and you here. All right, so I've got four unstable ingots. Oh, explodes? Oh, wow, you got to do that fast. It's going to blow up in my inventory. Okay, this is tragic to come back to. Uh, apparently the cursed dearth burns in the daytime and it burned down my forest. That Dilophosaurus keeps learning how to use chests over and over again. Okay. I'm going to get you ready. Bingo. Go. Go. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! 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 What? So I can't shift click them in. Huh. That is going to add an added challenge. Okay. Oh, shoot. And I'm going to blow up again. And kaboom. So, one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. And this thing. Okay. I'll put you right there. All right, let's go. We can do this. 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 It's not crafting it. What? Ha! Oh. Huh. Ha! Huh. They're in the crafting table. They can't explode. What? Quadruple? Quadruple? Quintuple? Oh, man. Oh, I gotta go get more cobblestone. And... Oh, that's so sad. Oh, so sad. Alright, but that's easy. I just need uh, nine of these to make a quintuple, and I can make a couple more quadruple. <sighs> Alright, guys. We've got them. We've got our quintuple. We've got four quadruple. Um, yeah, we're going to go back to Vanilla World. Okay, we know we can do this. We know we can do this. Oh my goodness. This is like, oh, I still, let me, let me do away with you guys real quick. Okay. Okay. All right. This is going to be the successful time right here. Wow. These ingots are so dangerous. Okay. Oh, almost did it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Get you out of get there out of there. Okay. You. 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 No. Oh, wait. Once they're in the crafting table, I think I was safe, right? We've got it. Okay. We've got a portal to the deep dark. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab some of my weapons and stuff. 
because I have a feeling we're going to need weapons, and I have a feeling next episode may just start in a new dimension. Oh, this is so crazy. Okay, so we're going to move you here. I need my crafting table. Yeah, I'm going to leave you guys behind. Um, we might need a pickaxe. There might be some cool stuff there that we need to grab. Um, I'm not going to take my ingots. There might be some mobs, so we might take my ender card. My rifle is definitely going. I'm going to go charge it up before we go. I don't think I need anything else. I think that's about all we're going to need. At least to go check this place out. I'm kind of intimidated by this place, though. I really hope this portal works. I don't know where to put it, and I don't know if something crazy is going to happen when I put it down. So we're not going to do it by the house. Wait, you just, this cursed earth is still burning over here? Um, hmm. Don't want to do it by the blood magic stuff. You know, maybe we'll do it up on this hillside over here. I, I'm going to put you right here. Do I just stand on you? Portal to the deep dark. Oh! Oh, we're going somewhere! We're going somewhere! Um, okay, well, I'm glad I brought my pick. Um, this is the deep dark. Okay, before we end this episode, I'm going to go do a little research and see if there's just something I'm missing. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so it looks like we're digging down. Um, we are up at like level 153 or something like that and apparently there's goodies down below so we're gonna go hunting for goodies there's supposed to be a cave or something like that uh, torches would be really helpful right now oh you know what I have night vision so apparent hopefully this won't harm me too much and there's not like some crazy mobs are gonna try to kill me but apparently there's like a cave system or something like that, or like a cavern, as it said. So we're going to go down and just take a look. And if I find it, I might wrap it up here, and then we'll adventure in the next episode. Oh, man, I didn't know what to expect at all. Okay, so there's more cobblestone. Ah, there it is right there. There it is right there. Okay. Um, so I got to get over to one of these pillars and I can kind of pillar down it's not a very pretty place it's super dark is that the pillar right there where's the pillar that's the pillar oh, what am I being hit by what am I being hit by I don't see anything What in the world? Oh, this is going to be adventurous. All right, guys. I think we're going to wrap it up here. We'll go check that out in the next episode. Oh, look at all that crazy. Oh, oh again? Again? Um, I wonder if it's because my night vision is not showing me what I should be seeing. As soon as I like look over, I start taking damage. I'm shooting into the dark. All right, guys, we'll we'll, we'll figure this out, and uh, we'll be back next time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.